we're halfway there. Oh, oh, living on a pair. Take my word, we'll make it, I swear. Oh, oh living on a pair. Okay. My faithful moon beams, with that said, I am going to use Title 17. U.S. Code, section 107 to 108 of Copyright Law. All media in this video is used for the purpose of review and commentary under term of fair use. All footage, music, and images used belong to their perspective companies, i.e. John Bon Jovi. Now why did I just use Bon Jovi's Living on a Prayer? I will tell you, because I am halfway there through my uh, ca closed captioning of my uh, of my YouTube videos and my YouTube channel is living on a prayer because I can count my subscribers on one hand. So, with that said, please continue to subscribe because YouTube channels need at least 1,000 subscribers for monetization. But I know you can only count that many. So. And why am I wearing gloves? As I told you before, I have psoriasis. So. Now, with that said about my YouTube channel, uh, I shall move on because we have a guest star. Uh, I don't be shy. Uh, I'm sure my viewers would love to know about your people. Now, she's a little shy. Um, as you know, you should know, Squim, Washington is on the Pacific Northwest, which means we are on the ocean. Now, don't be shy. She's a little shy. She, and, um, I guess our day is Sophia. And as you all know, she is a mermaid. She comes from Aurora World com. Get, you can get these at www.auroraworld.com. Sophia here, I am using as a model for the fact of, in the movie Splash, uh, Tom Hanks was quoted in saying, All my life I have been looking for love, and when I find it, it's a fish. But, and then, after he said that, uh, John Candy said, nobody says love is perfect. But however, I think that, um, is what Tom Hanks should have said is, all my life I've been looking for love, and when I find it, it is a mammal that swims in the sea. Because even though a mermaid does have a tail that is sort of fish-like, what, what shape is the tail in? It is flat, like the tail of a dolphin or a whale. And 
Let us look up the word mammal in a dictionary. Shall we? Mammal. Let's see, here we are. Yellow yay god from Father. From Father Mark's funeral. Let's see, ma mammal. Warm blooded vertebrae of the class secreting milk to feed its young. Uh, mammalian. And then we have mammary under that of the breast. Shall we go to breast? I think we should go to breast. Let's go to breast. 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 One A. Either of two milk secreting organs on a woman's chest. We shall use that one. What does a mermaid have here? These look like breasts to me, don't they? As a matter of fact, she's wearing uh, something to cover them up, as does Ariel in The Little Mermaid. And speaking of Ariel in The Little Mermaid, in uh, if you go to Copenhagen, you will find Ariel, you will find a statue of The Little Mermaid on a rock. So if you ask if a mermaid can, if a mermaid comes up for air, then the answer would be yes, because the little mermaid is on a rock. As a matter of fact, they actually use that at the, in the ending scene of one of the ending scenes of the little mermaid, be just before tried, tried, just before her father turns her into a human. Is her on that rock? So. And then in Ariel's beginning, you see all the mer people up in uh, up up on the up on rocks and such. And in Peter Pan, you see the mermaid splashing around, swimming around, getting air. So yes, mermaids do come up for air. So I would classify a mermaid as a mammal. Now, do you classify a mermaid as a mammal or a fish? You be the judge. I've just given you plenty of evidence